Can you talk about this a little more or are you in too much shock? <laughs> I'm in shock right now. In case you missed last week, we had a lot of fun. We drove up to Pulaski, New York, and the first thing we did was go to Fat Nancy's Tackle Shop where we talked to Mike about what we were about to get into. He advised that we go over to the fish hatchery, so we headed over there, we saw the fish running and jumping up the ladder, and by this time we were ready to go fishing, so we journeyed out across the river. It was really very scary to put myself in that situation, but ultimately we made it to the other side, we met up with our friends, and we started fishing. When we got there, we started hooking up immediately, but unfortunately, the fish kept snapping our lines and getting away. Here we are in Oswego, among hundreds of other fishermen fishing for salmon. There is a wide array of wildlife here, and the fishermen themselves are some wild characters. It's a bit intimidating to fish here. It has a very intense culture. Everyone seems to know what they're doing, so I was feeling a little bit out of place. Luckily, our guides knew what they were doing, and they reassured us that we were doing just alright. Chris, Ryan, and Justin were a fantastic group. They told us how they've been fishing here for seven years, and they've really proved their expertise. Christian's grandfather has owned a bait shop for nearly 100 years. He knows what spots to look for, and the best baits to use. Skeen! or salmon eggs. We'll be showing you how to make this in a few weeks. Thanks. Now the scent and the color of the skein Now that scent's gonna be in the water. Smell that. Ugh. Will attract salmon to bite. Oh, all right yeah. guys, wish me luck. We traveled all the way here with our friend Pablo, who invited us, and he was the first in the group to hook up. You can tell this is Pablo because the label on his rod says Pablo. Sean. So Pablo hooks onto a fish, and it's going wild. I'm serious, it's going left and right, back and forth. It's going literally all over the place. And this fish is starting to tangle up everyone's line. Oh no, they're gonna cross, they're gonna cross, they're gonna cross. This fish is pulling him all over the place, and ends up pulling him way downstream. You can just see how far this fish is away from us. Now Chris has been doing this for a while. He remains calm and level-headed, and he knows where all the drop-offs are. But Pablo, however, doesn't. For those of you who don't fish, you gotta realize, when you hook onto one of these torpedoes, it's literally like riding a roller coaster. Your adrenaline is just going crazy, and you can hardly think, you just react, and you just go by instinct and just reel it in. The fish went all the way downstream before Christian was able to net it. Can you guys bring them to me? This was our first salmon we pulled up, and it was epic! I'm glad to have been right there by your side, Pablo. Oh, that's a, that's a 15 pound fish, maybe. Uh, maybe not. I am soaked to the bone. Fell down in so many holes. It's all over the place. Slipped all over the place. Absolutely. Look at this. Can you tell me? Oh, even better, brother. You guess I want to smoke this. We're all together. So yep. Even better. Even better. By now, I was itching to catch my own fish. I've been watching people hook up, and I've been hooking up, but I've not. I have not landed one yet. I'm itching to land my first salmon. Oh, I got one. I'm on a fish, and it's a big one. Woo! All that's going through my head is, don't lose this, don't lose this, don't lose this, don't lose this. Remember how you lost your other ones. Don't lose this one. There's a choreography to landing this fish. When I hook up, all the other fishermen know hey. that they need to get out of the way so that my fish doesn't tangle them up because this fish will literally go anywhere it wants to and mess everything up. The whole time I was thinking, don't lose the fish. Don't lose the fish. You've lost all your other fish, Brendan. Don't lose this fish. I'm feeling the fish slow down. It's not pulling nearly as hard as it was anymore. And it's getting tired. Christian struggles to land the fish, but in the end, he totally gets it and helps me land my first king salmon. My 
my first King Salmon, all thanks to my good friend Christian. <laughs> oh my gosh. Christian, you, you ought to be a guy. I love you. <laughs> Can you talk about this a little more, or are you in too much shock? <laughs> I'm in shock right now. I'm in pain again. Uh, <laughs> well, so why are its teeth like this, Christian? Uh, to fight other salmon off. To fight other salmon off, when not to come, eat other things, No, nope. huh? when they come up in the stream, they lay their eggs, and the males come in, just defend their territory. So they have they have these sharp teeth, because um, they use it to fight off other salmon. Yes. Their wow. territory, wow. it's just like a mother protecting its babies. Fish on! Oh my gosh. You don't even know what to say. I'm just shocked. Sure. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a beaut. But I didn't even have time to be in shock because James has hooked on to a huge fish. As he's hooked up, I'm worried for him and I really don't want him to lose this fish. By some miracle, James was able to land this fish. And it was a huge one. It was actually the biggest fish of the group. There we go, James. That is a massive fish. And I had never seen a salmon that big that before. That is a massive fish. Wow, that's a big fish. Oh, All right. <laughs> yeah. That's a good looking fish, yeah. So why do they have yellow spots? Lampreys, they're just like eels. They stick to them and they suck the blood out of them. And, I mean, they usually only fall off once they get into the river. Some of them you can still hook into them when they have them, but usually you'll see them like this, but you'll actually see on some salmon you hook that has a big circle and you'll see a little teeth mark. They're That's like so little cool. vampires that live out in the lake. Wow. That's very weird. I never knew that. Total, we had about 60 pounds of fish. That's a pretty hefty load. So the limit is three fish per person, and we've got our limit right now. We're keeping these fish because I love eating fish. This is way bigger than the bluefish I was catching in uh, Montauk. I think, it, yeah, this one's this about, is about the same, same size. Yeah. We are just feeling on top of the world. This was exactly what we came here to do, and we accomplished our mission. Tell, tell everyone what you're about to do, Brendan. Uh, I love eating sushi, and this will be the freshest salmon I've ever eaten. <laughs> it's not pink like the salmon I'm used to. Ready? Yep. No. Oh. What's that face? What's it taste like? <laughs> Not like the sushi I've had before. <laughs> what does it taste it's like? It's salty. And um, the texture was nice and smooth. Um, Tastes fishy? I need water. <laughs> it's a little fishy, yeah, it's a little fishy. <laughs> Aaron, your turn. <gasps> wow. Aaron's turn now. Alright, I'll try it. I don't know if this is like a safe thing to do. Just eat it, is I already ate mine. I re no, it's not FDA approved. It's good. It tastes like soup. It just threw me off guard. I thought it would taste a little different. I think it's great. Okay. That's I like it. it. Oh my god. That's so <laughs> wow. That's not even the big one. That is. And we use we use this for bait. You use it for bait? Yeah. We cut it we cure it and we cut it up and we use it for bait. Cool. Skeen. Or salmon eggs. We'll be showing you how to make this in a few weeks. Well, it's called skeen. Skeen. Yeah, it's pretty neat. All right, fresh caviar, fresh salmon caviar. Okay. Oh wait, are there little baby fish in here? <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> Not for a it's, it's like an egg. It tastes like an egg. Okay, I should have just swallowed mine like that. I was afraid <laughs> to taste it. <laughs> I just swallowed you my... You didn't make it first, you just swallowed it whole like a pill? Any good? I swallowed my sheet, chewed it. It's um, okay. Yeah, I, I saw her face. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait should, should, is it worth it? Should I try it? Do it, do I it. I swallowed mine, I should have done do it. Do it. Alright, here we go, round two. I'm gonna chew it this time. That <laughs> round two. No. 
Oh my gosh, are you okay? <coughs> no. <laughs> it's a really, it's a really bad texture in my mouth. And it, it just tastes. It didn't oh, taste like really good. much. You're it good. just had a really bad texture. Bigger eggs. More Whoa. eggs. More eggs. All right, so Christian sells this, these eggs. Want to rip that one out? Yeah, I would. Just go in from the oh, bottom. Yeah. And you feel up and just gently pull. It's like a delivery of baby. Okay, go all the way up in. Nice. Next episode. Yeah. On Tuesday, we will be back in Maryland. Welcome to our kitchen segment. Yay! And we are going to cook up this fish three different ways and try it out for you guys to see. Thank you guys for subscribing and for watching. We really, really appreciate all your support. Let us know if you liked this episode. Let us know if you didn't like this episode. Either way, we've decided that our journey in Oswego is not over. We're gonna go back in a couple of weeks and we are gonna learn how to make skiing and we are gonna go fishing for salmon in some new places. Be sure to stay tuned for some more exciting stuff coming up. <laughs> <laughs> it just blink on it literally just blinked on the lens.